Today we're going to talk about becoming a licensed home inspector in the great state of Ohio. Buckeye State. In 2019, there was legislation passed that implemented an entire licensing process, a code of ethics and a standard to practice in the state. And for the past couple years, all of the existing home inspectors have had to meet that licensing process. And of course, going forward, you'll need to meet that licensing process if you want to work in the Buckeye State. So I'm gonna go through everything that you need to do step-by-step step to get your license. And as I go through the video, I'll be referencing sort of the full guide that we wrote up. It's on spectora.com. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I found a lot of forms and sort of obscure links that you might have to kind of hunt for otherwise. So hopefully if you use that guide, I'll save you a lot of time having to track down the paperwork. All right, step one, you gotta pass a criminal background check. Actually two background checks, one by the state and one by the FBI. Yeah, believe it or not, you have to get an FBI background check to work as a home inspector in Ohio. Now, the way this works is there's a lot of private agencies. I found a list of all the state approved ones that's in the full guide. You go to one of those agencies, they fingerprint you, and they will send the results directly to the state uh, so that you don't have to do it. Step two, you need to legally form your business. And the way you do that is you register with the Ohio Secretary of State. They're gonna give you an employee identification number or an EIN, and they'll also give you a state entity number. You'll need to put both of those on your license application. Step three, you gotta get insurance. At a minimum, you need general liability insurance that covers you for no less than $100,000 per occurrence and $300,000 in the aggregate. Now, the state doesn't require Require errors and omissions or E&O insurance, but most home inspectors will get that. And I mention that because a lot of times you can get general liability and E&O insurance. You can bundle them together and you can save some money. E&O insurance covers you if a client accuses you of negligence or an error and omission that ended up hurting them financially. It's a good thing to have look into it. Okay, four, you need to get trained to be a home inspector. Specifically, you need to take a minimum of an 80 hour home inspection certification course. Now there's tons of courses you can take. There's some that are national, there's some that are completely online, and then there's a lot of local ones in the state that you can go and do it in person. And there's some that you can kind of combine the two. A good place to start would be InterNACHI, the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. They have free training to members, and to be a member, it's $50 a month. Alternatively, you can enroll in a home inspector training course and just pay a one-time fee. There's a lot of organizations that offer these. One that you might want to check out is the Inspection Certification Associates. We call them ICA. Right now, their Ohio course is $695. You could check that out. Okay, next thing you need to do is you need to pass the National Home Inspector exam. This is different than any sort of test that you'll take during your 80-hour course. However, if you can pass those tests, hopefully you pass the national exam. It's not too much of a problem. I found a study guide online. It seems like it's really helpful. The cost for the exam is $225. Next thing you need to do is you need to go on 10 parallel inspections. Now what this means is that you do a home inspection, including writing the report under the supervision of a licensed home inspector. It needs to be that licensed home inspector's client. It can't be your client, meaning that you can't quite do it under your own business yet. All right, so kind of a curveball here. What if you can cannot complete those 10 parallel inspections because you cannot find a local business that's willing to sponsor you for 10 inspections. There is an alternative thing that you can do in that case. So the state gives you the option to complete 40 hours of home inspections either in person or what they call interactively, which basically means online. If you go this route, you also need to have what's called a peer-reviewed home inspection, which is you inspect a home that's already been inspected by a licensed inspector and then you write the report and that's reviewed by two licensed inspectors and they basically give the green light that you found at least 70% of all the defects that the original inspection contained. All right, that might seem a little confusing. If I can't find a company that's willing to do 10 parallel inspections with me, how am I gonna find a company that's willing to do 40 hours worth of home inspections with me? And the reason is, is that a lot of these training organizations, they can allow you to go on these 40 hours worth of inspections, either in person or online. So it's essentially a way to make sure that you can get all of your training requirements from a training organization 
organization if you can't find an actual private home inspection company to help you out. I hope that explained everything well. Once you have all of these items I just listed, you can apply for your Ohio home inspector license. I think they ask for like 30 day turnaround, so just be a little patient. And while you're waiting in those 30 days, that's a great time to get the other aspects of your business running. Hey, I hope that was helpful. If you wanna kinda chew over the information a little bit more, like I said, the full guide is in the link in the description below. We also have a lot of other great content on the Spectora blog about starting your business, doing marketing, building your inspection reports and your networking pipeline. There's a lot of good stuff on there. I hope you check it out and get something out of it. Thanks everyone, bye.